Namaste. So, <laughs> it's been quite a week here. I opened up a whole new source of energy with this Kali Mantra. And tomorrow I'm going to be making the follow-up video on its meaning and effects. <laughs> because this has really like catapulted me up to a whole new energy level and I'm really enjoying it. But at the same time, she's a, she wants me to do a big piece of work. The story is, which I mentioned a little bit in the last video, I've been making videos and making videos and making videos for like going on 10 years now and never stopped to put them all in order or classify them or arrange them in any kind of progression. So this is actually necessary because my conception of this channel from the very beginning was that it's going to be like a course. In fact, it's going to be like a postgraduate course, a seminar, in spiritual life. So I always wanted to arrange it, you know, like a curriculum, like a certain order of courses. So, <laughs> make a long story short, Kalima is pushing me to do that. It's way overdue, you know. Uh, I should have done it years ago and then just kept up with each video, you know, but now it's coming like a ton of bricks <laughs> and hitting me. Oh my God, I've got to do this. Do what? Well, basically the video is just the beginning. Take a look at this chart. This is the production sequence, the order of things that has to happen. From the video, you can extract the audio and it becomes a podcast. And then you can also extract the text. Google does a voice recognition and puts that as the automatic text, the automatic subtitles. And of course, this is in rough shape. There's a lot of mistakes in it. There's no punctuation or capitalization. So it has to be edited. And then once it's edited, it can be posted as a blog post. It can be made into an ebook or even a printed book. And then all these things have to be linked together. This is something we've been really missing that the more links we have amongst the different forms of our work, then the more attention we're going to get from the search engines, from people who are doing research on certain topics, because it will come up, you know, much uh, higher than the search results that way. So anyway, now I'm going back and doing it, and I asked for help because I need a lot of help, especially with the editing. And so far, there are three volunteers who want to help out with the editing. I'm like blessed to have your help because <laughs> it's a huge endeavor. I mean, there's over a thousand videos. Some of them, I mean, most of them are around 15 minutes long, but some of them are over an hour long. So that means a huge amount of text to edit into some kind of shape, you know, readable shape, uh, so that people can follow along and get additional benefit. Because the more different senses that you take in ideas with, the greater the impact and the greater the comprehension and the memory. 
of the subject. So if you're watching a video or listening to a podcast and you read along with the transcript, either in a document or on a blog post or even in a book, then you'll get much more benefit and you retain the information for a lot longer and be able to apply it, which is the real thing. Huh? All of this is just to get people to apply this Vedic knowledge in their lives and get the benefits. So the more different inputs you have of the same information, then the more vivid your impressions will be and the easier it will be for you to actually apply it in your life. So anyway, then all these different types of work have to link to each other. And last year we made courses, quite a few courses. And of course we still have to add to that. So all of these things will link to the courses and the course will link to all the pieces of media. And so we'll have like a tremendous synergy going on. And this will give us a lot more reach. It will allow us to reach a lot more people. And really, this is what it's all about. We want to help people. We're not taking any money for this. We're not demanding any service from people. But we're giving this as a gift to share the blessings that we've been blessed with. Because otherwise, who would be selfish, wouldn't it? If we got all of this benefit for ourselves and just kept it to ourselves, that would be terribly selfish. So we often see rich people like Bill Gates and people like that giving in charity. And well, of course, he gets tax benefits. <laughs> but <laughs> over and above that, if a person has been blessed with extraordinary wealth in any way, whether it's money or possessions or knowledge or wisdom or enlightenment, they have a duty to share that with others who are not so fortunate. Now again, the classification and the order of these videos is according to the levels of consciousness. So when a person first comes in contact with this knowledge, actually they're a Pashu, they're a two-legged animal. Why is that? They have no connection with God. They have no yoga. Yoga means to connect. Connect what? The individual soul with the super soul or the, the soul, the human soul with God. So the very first thing is they have to understand the background knowledge that there are these four states of consciousness. Jagrat, or dualistic con consciousness, consciousness of the world. Vishishtadvaita, Vada, huh? which is Svapna, or dream consciousness. Vivartavada, which is consciousness of the void. And this is where meditation happens. And finally, Turiya, the fourth level of consciousness, which is self-realization. Now, these are broad categories, and they contain many sub-levels. And we have endeavored to build up a complete picture of these four levels of consciousness and the spiritual practices that associate with them. And so we have arranged all these videos in these four categories according to the four states of consciousness and the four yogas and the four views and the four groups of chakras that support them. So this is our framework. We call it the Chatur Darshanam, four views of the truth, four views of God, the Absolute. So by following this process, this Dharmasar process, you get to be promoted from the lower states to the higher states of consciousness. 
And of course, there's so many benefits and so much improvement in your state of life that comes along with this. So we could never have too many editors. If you want to volunteer, get in touch with me. Write me an email. My email address is on the About tab of the channel page. So do get in touch if you want to help out. There's tons of work to do. And I'm going to be coordinating everything. I even made a checklist, you see, to check off each stage in the production flow and to show who's working on what so we can get everything accomplished and get it out there in the world so that more people can get the benefits of this tremendous knowledge. Aung Tatsa. Aung Shakti Aung.